Tracking snow right now shows you Teton Pass. Yeah, it just makes you want to turn around and go the other way. That snow from Wyoming dropping in towards Ryrie. Some snow over Swan Valley and look at that green popping up. That's right around Summers Butte or Webster Butte, basically to the east of Rexburg. I think it'll stay just east of you, Rexburg, but if you live points eastward in eastern Madison County, you'll certainly see some rain and you'll probably see a little snow as well. And then another area of precipitation, this moving away from the Snake River Plain, mainly rain there as things start to wind down with our latest storm. Looking at a little bit of clearing over in the southwestern corner. So tonight, a lot of us will clear up. That clear sky tonight means we'll be a little bit colder than we were last night. Temperatures uh, managed to stay right around 30 in Pocatello last night. That won't be the case tonight. About 7 degrees colder overall. 23 expected in Pocatello. Idaho Falls, you'll have a low of 18. Even colder up in St. Anthony. Wow. 12 degrees. It's been a while since we've been that cold. It's been a while, too, that since Stanley's seen temperatures in the single digits. That's what we have on tap overnight. 20 will be the low in Chalice, and that's colder than you were last night. There's the isolated evening snow showers through the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Once the sky is clear, Yellowstone will drop all the way down to a measly one below zero. So it's still trying to feel like winter out there as well, as long as, long as looking like it too. Then we'll keep that going for the southeastern corner of this evening with isolated evening snow showers. Low temperatures tonight will range from the mid-teens to the mid-20s. Malad City will bottom out at 25 and then tomorrow not a bad day. Better day to get around I think no matter where you're at. We'll call it mostly cloudy. That implies a little bit of sunshine probably to start off your day. You'll see some blue sky. There is a chance in the afternoon evening some snow developing for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. So a small break and a small break too expected for the central mountains will start off dry. But then late, late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, we could see that snow develop. High temperatures for a couple of spots will reach in the 40s. And for the Snake River Plain, a little bit of sunshine to start off your Wednesday. Then increasing clouds, high temperatures, Upper 30s, we should be warmer than that, huh, St. Anthony? 47s where we'll end up in Pocatello, and Blackfoot will have a high of 45. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven-day forecast. Here comes our next one on Thursday. Rain-snow combo. The lingering clouds from that storm on Friday, but look at the weekend. Still eyeballing at least one day in the 60s, and that will fall on Sunday. We're not there long. Darn it. <laughs> we got rain-snow for Monday and a bunch of wind with this second storm in the next seven days, more so than what we've seen lately. I don't fall seven day forecast, wintry mix Thursday, ah, they settle down, and then this weekend, 58 on Sunday, back to that rain snow mix Monday with some wind, Blackfoot seven day forecast. Pick day for the next seven, like the rest of us, will be Sunday, we'll top out at 60. For the Teton area, we got a chance of snow tomorrow in the evening. Snow likely Thursday. Could see that snow linger into Friday with snow on the way for your Monday and for the Central Mountains. Chance of snow developing late tomorrow. Rain snow mix on Thursday. Another batch of rain and snow for Monday.